Good evening, Elizabeth. How are you? Good evening, teacher. How are you? Hi, teacher. How are you today? My day was very well. Oh, really? Tell me why. I'm curious. Mm. Uh, descansando mucho. Oh, really? Resting. 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 Rest. Oops. Resting. Like this. Resting. Resting. That's great. Excellent. So that means that uh, you, you were relaxed today, Elizabeth. Yes, teacher. That's nice. It's always good to be relaxed and to have time to for yourself. Bueno tener tiempo para sí mismo. Excellent, excellent, Elizabeth. Let's see who else is around. Basilia, hello, how are you? I'm fine. Tell me, Basilia, how was your day? Very good. Oh, really? Yes. What did you do today? Um, I don't remember. Uh, you don't remember what did you do today? Come on. No, and the first of all, lo, lo mismo de siempre. Oh, the same as usual. <laughs> the same as usual. <laughs> yes. Oh, really? Oh, the same as usual. And yes. Nothing the, the nothing special. Nothing special. Well, yeah, some days are like that. Buenos yeah. días, Ana. Sí. Okay, let me just check on something. Yeah, some days are like that, like regular. What about the what about the weather? It's hot here where I live. What about in your house, Basilia? It's it's hot. It's hot the weather. Yes, yeah, for me it's terrible. I yes. Don't, I don't like it this hot. <laughs> yeah, as soon as I finish the class, I'm gonna go get a shower. Sometimes, me too. But okay. when I have much training, I go to bed. When I am when I am very sleepy. When I am very sleepy and go to bed okay fast. listen to me i go straight to bed i go try bed straight 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 i go straight to bed yes directo a la cama yes right okay. wow that's nice i wish i could Yo quisiera poder, but I never got to sleep before 12. I got um, to sleep around midnight. Um, in, in my case, when I don't have an English, English class, I go to bed um, 7 30 p.m. 7 30 p.m. Really? Yes. 7? Yes. Because I get up um forty four thirty four thirty a.m. a.m. Still seven. Wow. Yes. No way. I could never, never <laughs> go to bed at that time. Oh, but in my case, because my my son. I prepare the uh, read the the book and I prepare in the bedroom. Okay, so you stay there preparing everything. Yes, I prepare everything. Okay, now I understand. Well, okay. thank you, Basilia. Okay. Reinaldo, hello. Yes. Hello, teacher. How are you? 
I'm just fine, just fine. How was your day, mister? Uh, today is very interesting. Oh, really? Why? Tell me. Yes, because I done an, I didn't internet. I didn't have. I didn't have internet. Internet. Yes, I talk I'm, about. I'm sorry. Listen, listen to yes. me. Some people say internet, and some people say internet. They don't uh, pronounce the T. Algunas personas no pronunciamos la T when we say internet. Okay. Okay. Because it's actually there, but it's very short. Inner, inner that. Okay. Inner. Internet. Okay. Perfect. Internet. Okay. Um, I went to speak another person, my partner, in an other unit because I need uh, investigate on case. Um, a lot have a, a work. Um, all day, all day investigate. Okay, so, I mean, it's very problematic nowadays to not have internet. In, in my world is necessary inter internet. Yeah, I, I can imagine. I can imagine, yes. but, but you, you make do Hold on, you make do. Pero uno se las arregla. Ah, uh, oh, yes. <laughs> you make do. I, in, you, I in, invent, invent. <laughs> eh, we have to be creative. Yes, yeah, I am creative. Okay, thank you. Reinaldo, by the way, please describe to me the location you were going to. Um, I describe my my house. Okay, please tell me about your house. Uh, my house is um, is a, a small house. Only have uh, only have has a five meters in front okay. and fifteen meters long. Okay, and there there is three bedroom and a small living room the kitchen one bathroom is a bit important yeah um the color the how do you say pared wall walls walls and the floors are i don't know the the color like the first the people say me color melon okay the so wall the walls are Color melon. Uh, the, the walls are color melon. Okay. Uh, there is there it has ceiling. 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 The ceiling. Um, I I when the the house has um a little garden. Okay. Only one meter for the one meter. Okay. One well, meter, how do you say cuadrado? Un metro cuadrado. Square, 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 like square, square, yes, only one square meter, one square meter, perfect, only, okay, well, better than nothing, nothing, <laughs> and remember, uh, it's your house, I mean, we gotta like it. <laughs> ah, but uh, I love it. I love Excellent. It. That's the attitude. Yeah. That's the attitude. That is spirit, Reynaldo. Thank you very much, Reynaldo, yes. and welcome to the class. You're welcome. Thank you. Hey, Karen. Hello. Hi, teacher. How are you? I am fine. Tell me a little bit. Uh, about your day, Karen? My day was quiet and home. Quiet or calm? Calm. Oh, okay, calm. Really? Why? Tell me why. Um, nothing special. 
and my sons only had exams and exams no. exams Exam. okay oh yeah, yeah yeah exams yes yeah is no no homework Something. no no oh that's nice and how is your yes. son doing with the exams sorry how is he doing in the exams Uh, le blank. Como le va? How ah, okay, is okay. he doing? Um, fine. He is very intelligent. And no, no, ¿cómo sería? No necesita ayuda. Oh, he doesn't need help. He doesn't help. Need. He doesn't need ah, help. He doesn't need help. Okay, that's great. Excellent. Well, yeah. Tell me, Karen, did you already tell me about the space in your house? No, teacher. No, okay, please tell me now. And describe my house. Okay, perfect. Yeah, my house is relatively uh, small. Okay. It has three rooms. Okay, perfect. I don't have yard. Yes, and continue. All the walls are white. All the walls are white. Okay. Yes. Perfect. And have one garage. And the living room and And uh, dining room is the same. Okay. It's connected, it's the same space. Yes. Okay, perfect. It's all. It's all. It's all. Oh, that's all. That's all. That's all. Yes. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Thank you very much, Miss. That's all. Perfect. Well, let's see. Linda, hello, Linda. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Fine. You look tired today. La veo cansada. Is it? Yes. <laughs> yes, teacher. A little tired. Tell me why. Um. <laughs> yes. Uh, what? Uh, how do you say? Um, me acosté tarde anoche. Okay, I went to bed late. I went to bed late last night. I went to bed la late. late last night. Okay, perfect. Really, what time did you go to bed? At the 12. At 12? Yes, at 12. Oh, really? That's very late. Yeah. Well, the good thing is that you are here in the class today. Thank you and welcome for attending my class. Okay, Let's teacher. see, Mr. Hako, hello, how are you? Good evening, teacher, I'm fine. Good evening, Humberto. You? I'm just fine, just great. Tell me, how was your day? Oh, my day was uh, very difficult because uh, this day um, how have um, the same problem in, in five different lines. Oh, really? 
yeah. Um, uh, it's, it start to start to sew um, the same style, and and this style have um, a problem. Uh, the the same problem are uh, uh, the same problem is um, dying migration. Dying migration, migra es como I in, in Spanish, migración, migración de color. Yes, that, yeah, that's what I understood. Es lo que entendí. Eh, el tono se fue hacia, hacia otro color. Yes, it's the, mm. the, 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 the issue is in a screen print. Yeah, I understand you. I understand you. Wow, that's and, a big problem. And very, very, very hard. Yeah. yeah I can um, imagine. The, it was very moved my day. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. I mean, you had a lot, a lot to do regarding yeah. that problem. Ooh. Yes. The good thing is that you're here today, mister. That's excellent. Thank you very much, Humberto. Thank you, teacher. Hey, Humberto, did you describe to me yesterday? Yes, yesterday. Yes, you did. Thank you very much. Katia, hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. How about you? Um, just great. Thank you. I'm fine. Today was a, a very... Um, Interesting day, we can say. An interesting day. What about yours? My day was, can I say heavy? <laughs> heavy, yes, you can say heavy. Oh, really? Yeah. Tell me and why. Being, and being teacher, parents, uh, another visit. And then in the afternoon, I have to go out to... I had to go out to do many errands. 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 Yes. Oh. I was. I, I am tired. <laughs> I can imagine. So the word is this errands. Look. Errands. But the good thing is that you are here in the class. That's excellent. So here we are going to see something very it interesting. I'm sorry? Here is relaxed. Yeah, relax sure. This is an easy class. That's why you get like calm. It's on the class of fasting. Well, thank you, Katia. No, yeah, it is piece of cake. That's what Emily told me. Así me dijo Emily, your class is too easy. Your class is muy fácil. <laughs> this is piece of cake, she said. Well, 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 let's see who else is around. Who else? Herlin. Hello, Herlin. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you, Herlin? I'm fine, and you? I'm just great. Herlin, you owe me a description, right? Yes. Please do it. Um, I will describe my room. Okay, perfect. Okay. Um, it is painting and bone white color. I don't know. He's saying yeah, it's, it's correct. It's correct. Okay. Okay. And I have a little window, and in the window I have a long red with flowers contains. Okay. And uh, there is a medium brown closet. Okay. Um, I had a small light. And also, I have a small brown drawer. I don't know if it's the same. What? And, uh, it's a uh, gavetero con espejo. I don't know if it's the same. Yeah, a closet. It could be a closet. Ah, okay. Okay. Thanks. And there is a wheat celly. Okay. And I had a medium bed. Only that teacher. Okay. Or perhaps you, what you mean is actually a dresser. Creo que lo que usted quiere decir es uh, dresser. Dresser. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Thank you very much. 
Mr. Mario Santiago, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. I'm fine. And um, you, teacher? I'm just great. Oh, my gosh. You are still working. Yes, yes. Uh, my work uh, in this moment is one a week. Uh, in my schedule uh, is uh, six to six to o'clock a.m. to uh, 22 hours. Already. Uh, or 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 t or 10 p.m. From six to ten. Yes, yes. I, That's your 18, schedule. 18, 18, 18 hours. 18, 18, 16, 18, 18 hours. That's 18 hours. But the, the word but, is uh, schedule, Mario. Schedule. Yep. Schedule. Okay. Okay. Yes, tell me, schedule, tell me. You were telling me. But, something. but, but, uh, in this moment, my schedule. The schedule is eight days at work and eight days at home. That's cool. Yeah. That's but nice. uh, but the days that you strong, are, strong. it's hard. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty it's hard. Two times. It's two yeah. times. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, to, 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 well, to journal, journal. The journal for compensar, no sé. to compensate and compensate next week. Okay, um, it's actually what you are doing is you are covering two shifts. Two yeah. shifts. Turnos or jornadas, shifts. Shift. Yes. Shift. Okay. Turnos or jornadas uh, at work. Oh my gosh, that's heavy. So you, it's actually 16 hours. Ooh. Yeah, but um, the other week. Next week. In my house. Next week. At in home. The next week. At home. At home. Okay. At home. And, and Tomorrow, go to my house. Tomorrow, you go to your house. Yes. Okay, that's nice. Excellent. Yeah, finish, finish is my week. At oh, really? So tomorrow, tomorrow, don't go to sleep tomorrow. You got class. No, 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 no. Well, no, no. Me, because no, when no, you no. get when you get home after this schedule, man, if I were you, I would be like crashing my bed. Creo que si yo fuese usted al llegar a casa, I will crash. Crash. In this case, okay. when I say crash, en este caso crash, me refiero a colapsar. I will crash in my bed. Okay. okay. Yeah, it's heavy. Oh, but, but um, tomorrow go to my home. But Friday, I'm going to central uh, direction and but leave reports and document document documents documents document for my job for my with at work okay well that's life no i see no stock that's yeah. life. That's life. Yeah, I understand you. I understand you. Uh, two years ago, I was working. Hace dos años yo estaba trabajando. I was out of my house. I used to leave my house at six. Salía de casa a las seis. I used to come back at um, nine thirty, ten p.m. And from Monday to Friday, Saturdays. I used to leave at 7 a.m. and used to come back at 8 p.m. And Sundays, I used to work from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. So my days off were none. No tenía días libres. Only Sundays Day afternoon. Uh, sometimes it's hard. 
Yeah. Well, very, but it's, very. <laughs> it's nice to have you here in class, Mister. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, let's see. No, thanks to you. Let's see. Actually, according to my report, de acuerdo a mis anotaciones, I'm just missing for the oral evaluation that I'm doing. Se recuerdan que les dije que iba a estar teniendo conversaciones con algunos de ustedes para hacerles una evaluación oral. De acuerdo a mis anotaciones, from here, I'm just missing Enrique, Carlos, Ricardo, and let's see who else, and Linda. Are the ones that are missing still. During this week, in the middle of a class, perhaps I will start a conversation like this. En esta semana, puede ser que a media clase yo haga una conversación como esta. Don't worry, it's just for me to see how can I help you better. Okay, let's see. Well, welcome the rest of you. Welcome, uh, Carlos. Welcome, Ricardo. But we need to go straight to the point because today we are going to work with one of my favorite topics in grammar, but one that is a little bit difficult. Okay, so we are going to pay attention. Remember, today we start section number five. Okay, so for today, I suppose. Yo supongo that all of you already finished section four. I know that some of you already finished the platform. Yo sé que algunos de ustedes ya me terminaron la plataforma. Excellent. Congratulations. But the rest of you remember that this week we need to finish section five and final exam. But let's go straight to it right now. Let me share with you. Let's see. Oopsie. Where is she? Hold on. I think we are having a problem. Well, 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 well. well. God. Okay, guys, let me see, let me see. Let me try to do something here. Because I think we are having problems with the with the computer. But I'll try to solve it right now. But anyway, as I told you today, we are going to work with one grammar point that is very it's actually interesting. Today we are going to talk about the present perfect tense, okay? And the present perfect tense is a very interesting one. Okay, let's see. When we talk about the present perfect tense, oh no. I think the problem is not with the the problem I got right now is Zoom. I think I won't, I will not be able to share. The problem is Zoom. And we have very bad internet connection today. All day long, internet has been down. El internet has estado malo por acá todo el día. So Zoom is giving me a little bit of problems, but don't worry, we still can work. So present perfect tense, what is present perfect tense? Let me explain you a little bit about the, the theory. When we talk about the present perfect tense, we are talking about uh, a tense that tells us an idea. Remember, always the tenses give us an idea. Recuerdense que los tiempos verbales nos dan una idea. Uh, I'm sorry, I, will, I am excusing myself today for this grammar explanation, I will be using a little bit of Spanish, English, Spanish, English. Perdonen, de antemano les aviso, para esta clase voy a estar cambiando entre español e inglés, because I need, I need this topic to be clear, because we don't have that much time to cover it. No tenemos tanto tiempo para cubrirlo, and it's very interesting, but it's very, I mean, big. And today, and in this week, we need to cover the present perfect. We need to compare it to, to the simple past. So 
I'm sorry. So it's going to be very heavy. This week is going to be very heavy in the grammar points. But let's see. When we talk about present perfect tense, imagine that you have a point in the past. Okay? Imagine that this hand is the past. This is the present. This moment right now is here. The present perfect tense expresses an idea about something that started in a moment of the past but has not finished yet. Let me see. Veamos si puedo compartirle de esta manera. Me dicen si logran ver. Okay. Can you see? Vemos la pantalla blanca. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Yes. Excellent. 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 I will. Let's see. Let me see. Let me see. We have this. Look. I'm sorry. Imagine that we have a line. This is time. Okay. This is a timeline. Okay. Now, in this timeline, here we have the past. Okay. Here we have past. El pasado. The past is right here. Now, here, in this other side, what do we have? The present. Okay? This is the present. Is this moment. We're talking about right now. Estamos hablando de en este preciso instante. It's right here. Now, what do we have here? We have here a little something. Look, the present perfect tense. What is the present perfect tense? Is an action. Look, this action started here. Passes the present and is not finished. This idea is what we express with present perfect tense, okay? And you ask me like, what? What do you mean with that? Okay, this is what I mean, look. Let's see. The present perfect tense started right here. And as you see, joins here. El presente perfecto. Tenemos nosotros el pasado simple. El pasado simple es algo que sucedió en un momento del pasado y ya finalizó. El presente simple, yo les explicaba hace poco, es rutinas, hábitos, hechos. Ok. Ahora, present perfect. Comenzó en un momento del pasado y puede ser que aún no ha terminado. Todavía está en curso en este momento. I can erase this, right? Puedo borrar esto, ¿sí? Okay, let's see. I'll give you some examples. Yo ahorita veo unas caras de what? What was that again? ¿Cómo fue eso? Simple. As I told you. Simple past. El tiempo pasado simple. Remember, remember always. Tenses expresses ideas. Okay, simple past express an idea. Okay, the simple past expresses an idea about something that started in the past and it's finished. Okay, doesn't move. Right? Pasado simple, algo que comenzó en el pasado and it's finished. Doesn't go. No continúa ya. Okay, like I graduated 
I graduated from high school in 1996. Okay. I graduated from high school in 1996. Yo me gradué de bachillerato in 1996. That action is back in the past, right? Is it still going on? No. Finish it. Right? No continue. Ya está terminado. Okay? Now, let's see. Um, Katia, when did you graduate from high school? Katia, can you hear me? I'm sorry, Katia. When did you graduate from high school? I graduated from high school in 1990. 1990. Okay. That action is finished, right? Tell me, Katia, when did you start teaching at the university? ¿Cuándo comenzó a dar clase en la universidad? I started teaching... I started, I started teaching at the university in 1999. 1999. Okay, 1999. Now, listen to me, Katia. Usted todavía está dando clase en la universidad, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay. So, that means that how many years have you taught at the university? ¿Cuántos, ¿Por cuántos años has estado en esto? 22. 22. Did you listen to me what I, what I asked her? ¿Me escucharon lo que le pregunté? How many years have you taught at the university? And she told me, oh, 22. ¿Cuántos años ha dado clase? La acción comenzó en el pasado, continúa, ¿verdad? No ha terminado. Thank you, Katia. Reinaldo, how long have you worked in your company? Uh, for 20 years. For 20 years. Okay. Thank you, Reinaldo. You see, Reinaldo has worked in the company for 20 years. Reinaldo ha trabajado en la compañía por 20 años. That's present perfect. Eso es el presente perfecto. La acción comenzó. Llegamos al presente. No está terminada. Va a continuar hacia el futuro. Right? Are we getting the idea? Vamos comprendiendo la idea? Yes? This is the most, the most important part of this is that we get the idea. Okay? So, how do we do this? Simple. Listen again to me. Escuchen de nuevo las preguntas. I will ask them in Spanish. It's not necessary for you to answer, guys. No es necesario que la respondan. Solo escúchenme las preguntas como se las hago. Yo le pregunté a Katia, Katia, ¿cuántos años ha dado clases en la universidad? Ha dado. Ahí está la clase. Con eso vamos a trabajar. That's the main point. I asked Reinaldo, Reinaldo, how many years have you worked? And then, again, that's the key. ¿Cuántos años ha trabajado? Okay, so for expressing this idea, we use the verb have. El verbo have normalmente es el verbo tener, ¿verdad? But in this case, it expresses another idea. It expresses haber. Okay? Have expresses haber. ¿Cómo así de haber? No watch. With H, el haber que, hace, que escribimos con la H al inicio. ¿Ok? What's that? Y Linda me dice, ¿y eso qué es? Oh, it's very simple. Yo he, tú has. 
el a. En inglés. I have, you have, he has, she has, it has, we have, they have. ¿Ok? We have now the subject and the auxiliary, right? Ya tenemos el sujeto y el auxiliar. ¿Por qué? Porque el verbo have en este caso es un auxiliar. Yo he, tú has, el a, a. Luego comes the action. Viene la acción que estamos realizando. What is the action? It's a verb. Otro verbo. So if we have another verb, the verb have is an auxiliary. Si tenemos otro verbo, el verbo have es un auxiliar, right? So, listen. I have taught English. I have taught English. Yo he, yo he enseñado inglés for well, 21 years now. 21 años. Okay? I have taught English for 21 years. Listen, yo he enseñado inglés por 21 años. Is it clear? Vamos bien? Now, I have taught English since the, since the year 2000. Yo he enseñado inglés desde el 2000. Okay? Now, let's see. Uh, Mario. When did you start working? Listen, this question is in past. Esta, esta pregunta es en pasado simple. When did you start working in the in your company? I'm started. I'm working or I have worked. I started no, working. I work. Listen, listen. I, I'm start. Le pregunté en pasado simple. ¿Cuándo comenzó a trabajar? I started. Yes. So you answer in simple past. I started working. Yo comencé a I trabajar. Start, I started working from 2004. 2004. 2004. Perfect. 2004. That's it. That's it. That's enough. Mario. Stop right there. Hasta ahí dejémoslo. Okay. Listen to me. I asked him, yo le pregunté en pasado simple, hey Mario, when did you start working in your company? He told me, oh, I started working in the company in 2004. And I'm like, okay. So then Humberto comes. Viene Humberto me dice, hey teacher, do you know when Mario started working in the company? And I was like, oh, he has worked. He has worked for the company since... 2004, él ha trabajado para la compañía desde 2004, ¿ok? Now, Mario, again, with you, I'm sorry. Mario, tell me, uh, when did you start this, this, uh, this schedule? ¿Cuándo comenzó este, este horario? This shift, este turno, actually. I... My schedule started the last the last Thursday. The last, last Thursday. Thursday. Okay, so you have stayed there Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So you have you have stayed there for six days now. I estado allí yes. for six days. Listen again. Thank you very much, Mario. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. So, listen again. He has stayed there for six days now. Él ha estado allí por seis días hasta ahora. Okay? Hasta el momento. But he will still. Todavía le falta. So, he has covered what? 12 shift? Ha cubierto 16 turnos? No. No, 12, 12. Or 14. Somewhere around. 
and finally, uh, finally is the schedule, 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 uh, repeat, repeat, repeat me, repeat me, please. Schedule. 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 Okay. Okay. Schedule. Um, one, two, uh, thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Perfect. Oh, oh, thirteen. Okay. Thank you very much. So listen, he has covered thirteen shifts. El ha cubierto. 13 turnos. ¿Ya terminó de trabajar? Tell me, guys. ¿Ya terminó él? No, right? He's still there. You see, he's with the, his uniform, his badge. Tiene su uniforme, tiene su tapete. So, he's still working. He's in the office. Está en la oficina. So, estoy expresando, digo, que él ha cubierto 13 turnos. ¿Ya los terminó? No, todavía le falta. Sigue ahí. En este momento está en el trabajo, ¿verdad? It's like uh, Linda has listened to the whole class. Linda ha escuchado toda la clase. She's very serious and like watching. Okay. Is the class finished? Terminó la clase? No. It still continues, right? First off, la idea, ¿la tenemos clara la idea? The general idea, what's present perfect? La idea de qué idea, perdón. Man, it's just that sometimes I think in English and Spanish is redundant. Perdonen que a veces pienso en inglés y en español es redundante. Este, la idea es que les haya quedado clara la idea. I mean, is the idea clear for you? You get it? Yes. Okay. That's what matters right now. Yes. So that was my objective right now. In this moment, that was the main object. Okay. Mi objetivo principal era ese. Now, for tomorrow, I need you to please, please pay attention to, uh, to the videos. 5.1, I'm sorry. Yes, 5.1 and 5.3. Mañana quiero que me le presten, que me repasen el 5.1 y el 5.3. Okay. Remember, those little videos are like the help for what we are going to explain here. Por si el dado caso, si tenemos problemas de nuevo with Zoom. If not, don't worry, I will bring a PowerPoint presentation. Yo voy a traer una PowerPoint so we can work also with that. And we are going to have fun. Y nos vamos a divertir. But right now, up to here, questions. Hasta este momento, todavía no hemos visto estructura, no hemos visto verbos, solo con la idea. Preguntas. Is there any question? Teacher. Yes. Have como auxiliar siempre nos va a indicar que es una oración en, en presente eh, perfecto simple. Ten. Ok, ok. Ya voy a llegar a eso, a la estructura. No te preocupes, no te preocupes. Con la idea, con la idea estamos claros. Las ideas que vamos a expresar. Yo he estudiado. Este, como por ejemplo llega el papá y le dice, Emily, mañana tienes parcial. ¿Estás lista? Y le dice Emily, papá, yo he estudiado toda la tarde. De Facebook. Ok, no, no, no. Pero ella le dice, I have studied, he estudiado. Toda la tarde, papá puede ser que llegó a las 4, a las 5, ok? So, she says, I have studied, he estudiado. The action is not finished, ok? Now, let's go to check a little bit about the structure. Vamos a ver un poquito de la estructura. I'm sorry if... Uh, if I get frozen, espero no haberme descongelado, ¿no? Just for a second. Yeah, the, 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 the internet, well, the machine is telling me the internet connection is unstable. 
la conexión de internet está un poquito inestable. Ok, but let me continue. Now we are going to go to the structure. And the structure goes like this, okay? Okay, let's see. The structure for present perfect tense, the basic structure. We have subject. Can you see this? Podemos ver la pantalla? Yes, teacher. We got subject plus the auxiliary. What is the auxiliary? Okay, the auxiliary is the verb have, but remember that the verb have can be either be have or has. Okay, then after this, I'm sorry, after this, we have the main verb of the sentence. Okay, the main action is the verb, but how is the verb? This verb is in past participle, okay? And after this, we have finally the complement. Okay, let's check this out. We have subject plus auxiliary have or has plus the verb in past participle plus the complement. Okay, what's that? Look, I have taught English for uh, 21 years. I have taught English for 21 years. Okay, let's see. So we can make a difference. Now, let me see, let me separate this a little bit so you can see all the parts of the structure. Okay, and we get it like this. Look, let's see, let's see, Emily. What's the subject in this sentence? I. Okay, Emily said I. Okay, perfect. Karen, what's the auxiliary? Have. I have. So, Mr. Hako, what's the verb? Is throw, throw. throw. Okay. So then the complement is English for 20 years. Now, do you know the verbs in past participle? Ya hemos visto los verbos en pasado participio. I think no, right? Creo que todavía no, ¿verdad? What are the verbs in past participle? This verb in present is the verb teach. En present es el verbo teach, like in teacher. Okay? I have taught English for 20 years. Now, the verbs you have them. And uh, let's see. I'm sorry. The verse we have them. If you look for lists, si ustedes tienen listas in dictionaries or if you look them up, si ustedes la buscan en internet, you will always find present, past, past participle. Okay. Uh, En algunos los van a encontrar como, si le aparece el cabezado en español, le va a decir pretérito. Okay. O participio pasado. ¿Sí? What's that? ¿Qué es eso? I have taught English for 21 years. I have, yo he enseñado. Esa terminación. Listen, ado. Okay. Mario ha trabajado. Okay. Emily ha estudiado. Okay. Basilia ha cocinado. Linda ha escuchado la clase. 
that ending that we get in Spanish, ado, ido, yo he comido. Okay? The ending, ido, ado, it's the past participle in English. Esa terminación que nosotros en español le damos así, es el pasado participio. Okay? To make it clearer, easier for you. I don't, don't ask me what's the, the grammar explanation for that in Spanish because sincerely, I don't know. No me vayan a pre preguntar cómo, cómo se llama eso en la gramática española porque justamente no sé. Okay? I mean, uh, my problem is this. I understand English grammar, but Spanish grammar, mm -mm. I was never good at that. Nunca fui bueno. Okay, so in Spanish grammar, I am bad. But for you to get the idea, that's what we mean. Para que tengamos la idea, eso es lo que damos a entender con el pasado participio, la terminación ado, ido. ¿Vamos bien? Yes. Now, let's go back to the, to the board. Vamos de regreso a la pizarra. Now, look at this other sentence. Veamos esta otra oración. Let's see. Basilia has cooked. Basilia, how many years have you been married? ¿Cuántos años lleva casada? Uh, 15. 15. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Now look. Look at this. Basilia has cooked for her husband for 15 years. Again, subject, auxiliary, verb in past participle, and the complement, right? The complement. Look, but now we have little something here. Un detallito acá. Look at this. We have here. Cooked. You see that? Vemos esto. The verb in present is cook. Pero acá tiene ed. What happened there? It, the explanation, the grammar explanation is very, very simple. Uh, if you want, you can take a screenshot of this. Si gustan, pueden tomarle un screenshot a eso. Yeah, teacher. Okay, perfect. Now, remember that in, when you were studying simple past, cuando estudiaron el pasado simple, they told you that you have regular and irregular verbs, right? Tenemos verbos regulares e irregulares. Now, the regular verbs, they form the past, the, their past, los verbos regulares forman su pasado, by adding ed. Forman su pasado al agregarles ed al verbo, right? Yes? Do you remember that? ¿Recordamos eso? Tell me some regular verbs, Emily, please. Dígame un verbo regular. You don't remember right now. Don't worry. Don't worry. Listen to me. I know that you will see like, wow, that's it. We have their cook. Wash. Wash. Watch. Cook. Play. Play. Work. Dance. Study. Those are regular verbs, right? Esos son verbos regulares. So, the past in the past participle is the same. El pasado y el pasado participio es exactamente lo mismo. Okay? So, you don't worry with us. You just worry for the irregular verbs. Por lo que nos vamos a preocupar es por los irregulares. Why? Because in some cases it's easy. En algunos casos es fácil. Like teach, to, to. It's the same. But there are verbs like take. What is the past of take? ¿Cuál es el pasado de take? Took. 
took. Yes, took. The past participle. Y el pasado participio. Taken. Taken. Okay. So we have take, took, taken. What about go? The verb go. Go is in present. Go, gone. The past is went. The past is gone. went. And the past participle is gone. 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 Okay. Thank you very much, guys. Now, canon. Do you remember the question you asked me? ¿Se acuerda la pregunta que me hizo? About how do yes. we understand cuando entendemos que es el verbo tener y cuando es presente perfecto. Simple. Vea si después del have hay otro verbo. Ok. Si después del have tenemos otro verbo, ese verbo mandatory por obligación in past participle. En pasado participio. Ok. Always. All the time. Siempre. Por siempre y para siempre. Si viene un verbo después de have y no hay y no está la preposición to y no está la preposición to por fuerza va en, pres, en pasado participio. ¿Por qué le digo la preposición to? Oh, because I have to check my computer after the class. I have to check. ¿Qué estoy expresando ahí? Una obligación. ¿Ok? Tengo que revisar. ¿Ok? That's an obligation. I have checked the computer already. Yo ya he revisado la computadora. That's present perfect. You see, there's no preposition. Nothing that divides those verbs. Nada me divide el have del otro verbo. ¿Cómo vamos hasta ahí? I know that it's not easy. Yo sé que no ha sido fácil. Cuando lleva el tú. El verbo va en presente. Siempre que usted pone un verbo después de la partícula tú, va en presente. Y se entiende en infinitivo. Perdón, el infinitivo es cuando el verbo dice hacer, comer, reír, llorar. Cuando el verbo no trabaja, cuando no está siendo afectado por el sujeto. Bueno, el presente perfecto hasta este momento, ¿cómo estamos? Teacher. Yes, Karen. Si decimos have to drive, estamos hablando del presente, ¿verdad? Yes, an obligation. Así sería, o sea, eso, yes. eso sería el tú, el que nos indicaría de que... Ok. Yes. It's, and listen, it's different. I have to drive, I have driven. Right? It's different. Like, okay, I got invited to a party. Me invitaron a una fiesta. There's Emily, man, and I don't like Emily. No me agrada Emily. But they told me that I have to dance with Emily. Okay? Yo tengo que bailar con Emily. Man. Now, at the end of the party, at the middle of the party, me llega Reinaldo y me pregunta, hey, teacher, ¿qué ha hecho? Y yo le digo, oh, I Casi have... no se entiende, teacher, porque se queda congelado. Ok, let's do this. Ahora sí me escucha a mí. Can you listen to yes, me now? Teacher. Ok, entonces llega Reinaldo y me pregunta, yo les explicaba al inicio. Okay, let's see. No me abandonaron. No. Okay. Can you hear me now? Ahora sí me escuchan. Hello, can you hear me? ¿Me oyen? Yes? Ok. Yes, teacher. Les decía, before we finish, antes que terminemos, yo les decía, eh, perdón, voy a usar español. Eh, voy a una fiesta y me dicen que tengo que bailar. I have to dance with Emily. Les decía ahí, uh, no me agrada, pero ni modo. Porque Emily me patea cada vez que bailamos. Ok. A media fiesta me dice Reinaldo, Hey, teacher, ¿por qué lo veo este, cojeando? Y yo le digo, oh, 
toda la noche he bailado con Emily. Okay? The first sentence, la primera oración. I have to dance with Emily. The second sentence. I have danced with Emily. Ahora sí la entendemos. ¿Vamos bien ahí? Okay. Yes. Sorry, Emily. It was just an example, okay? Hey, guys. Thank you for your patience. No se preocupen que mañana seguimos con esto, pero me interesaba que este día la idea quedara clara. Discúlpenme si he usado mucho español, pero necesitaba que el punto quedara completamente y creo que la manera más fácil era relacionarlo con lo que ya conocen, que es su idioma. ¿Ok? Tomorrow we are going to go straight to the activities. Thank you very much. I appreciate your patience. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Have a good night. Good night, teacher. Good Thank night. you, teacher. Good night. You, teacher. See you tomorrow. Good night, good night everybody. Good Okay, let's see.